हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी सेंट्रीफ्यूगल क्लच नाउ हियर द स्केमेटिक ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगल क्लच इज शोन हियर इट इज अ क्लच ड्रम क्लच ड्रम नाउ हियर इट इज अ शू इट इज अ शू रोटेटिंग हियर शू इज कनेक्टेड विद द स्प्रिंग्स shoe is connected with the springs and total assembly is rotating on the shaft that is spring and shoe is rotating on one shaft let us say it is rotating in clockwise direction right i am assuming clockwise rotation now here between shoe and clutch drum there is a friction lining here there is a friction lining or friction material there is a friction material between drum and shoe that means inner surface of drum is having friction lining and outer surface of shoe is having friction lining and the shaft is rotating in clockwise direction this we are assuming right now let us say for this shoe let us say cg of shoe is somewhere here this is the center of gravity of shoe now the distance of center of gravity of shoe from the center of shaft is rg rg we can say rg is distance of distance of center of gravity cg of shoe from center of shaft center of shaft this is rg this we are saying as a rg right now let us say r is radius of drum inside radius of drum r is inside radius of drum right inside radius of drum is called r again let us consider em is mass of each shoe mass of each shoe we are considering as em now here in this numerical we have considered four shoes therefore let us say en is number of shoes en is number of shoes and between each shoe and brake drum there is a friction between each shoe and brake drum there is a friction and let us say when your engine is off initially the clearance is x let us say this is a clearance x between brake drum and each of the shoe this is this distance is x we are considering x is clearance right now as the shaft is rotating in clockwise direction therefore due to rotation there will be a centrifugal action and there will be a centrifugal force therefore we have to understand the concept of centrifugal force here and as well as there is a spring therefore there will be a spring force also let us understand the concept of centrifugal force and spring force let us say i have one string let us say this is a string having massless string and at the end of this string mass em is connected and let us say this string is rotating in clockwise direction with angular velocity omega right and let us say this mass is at distance r from the pivot this is a pivot and string is rotating about pivot in clockwise direction and the mass m is at distance r from the pivot right therefore as it is rotating it will cover circular path it is covering the circular path right and there will be a centrifugal force which is out away from the center the centrifugal force is always fc is always away from the center and the centrifugal force is given as m r omega square where m is mass of the mass rotating r is radius at which this mass is rotating and omega is angular velocity at which this mass is rotating this is a centrifugal force now let us say if i consider this point if i consider this point on this point away from the center there will be a centrifugal force which is m r omega square and in this string there will be a tension and tension is away from the point therefore this is a tension now for equilibrium can i say for equilibrium for equilibrium of this mass m summation of forces in x direction is equal to 0 now if i write this equilibrium equation minus t plus fc is equal to 0 therefore tension is equal to centrifugal force is equal to m r omega square for equilibrium this we can say now here this tension this tension in the string which is towards the center this tension in the string which is towards the center is called centripetal force 
means towards center is called centripetal force and away from the center is called centrifugal force and this centrifugal force is imaginary force or inertia force and centripetal force towards center is a actual force or real force these all concepts that is centrifugal force and centripetal force you are going to see in dynamics in engineering mechanics which is called dynamics right but here our target is to see only centrifugal force now understand there will be a tension or if it is a spring there will be a spring force towards center and centrifugal force is outside or away from the center now let us understand the concept of spring force let us say it is a fixed end of a spring and for this spring if i apply force if i apply force on the spring the spring will deform definitely let us say this is the initial position initial position of spring and due to application of force the spring will deform let us say by x x is final distance between initial and final position that is spring deformation here x is spring deformation right and this spring will be having some coefficient of stiffness stiffness of spring that is k k is spring stiffness and this spring stiffness is nothing but spring force divided by spring deformation for linear spring which is nothing but newton per meter k is spring stiffness therefore can i say this spring force is equal to kx spring force is equal to kx now on this spring on this spring we are applying force downward therefore this spring will deform in downward direction the spring will deform in downward direction and for this deformation the spring will offer force which is spring in force force in spring f spring against deformation right this spring always offers deformation in the direction opposite to the deformation right and this spring force for equilibrium can i say this spring force is equal to applied force f which is nothing but kx right and always spring force is out, away from the deformation now if let us say here if this shoe moves in outside direction let us say this is a motion of this shoe then spring force will be towards center spring force will be towards center and whenever it is rotating the centrifugal force fc will be out, away from the center now the centrifugal force which is nothing but fc which is nothing but m r omega square now here we have to consider radius which radius we will see that right will be away from the center and the spring force will be towards center this is a spring force towards center right now let us consider omega 1 is engagement speed omega 1 is engagement speed or the speed at which there is a engagement engage in speed right or engagement speed means at omega 1 speed let us say the shoe and brake drum comes into contact this is shoe and brake drum comes into contact right now as at omega 1 angular speed there is a contact between shoe and drum therefore now the shoe is rotating at different radius now let us say this is rg dash now can i say this rg dash is equal to initial radius rg plus spring deformation x right rg dash is equal to rg plus x right now in this therefore there will be a centrifugal force which is outside away from the center and there will be a spring force there will be a spring force towards center right now can i say here for equilibrium for equilibrium this centrifugal force fc is equal to spring force spring force which is nothing but mass of the shoe radius rg dash into omega 1 square it is rotating with angular velocity omega 1 and mass of shoe is m right and it is rotating rotating at radius rg dash therefore this is a centrifugal force or spring force where there is just contact just contact between shoe and drum now let us consider omega 2 as a running speed omega 2 as a running speed at which it the clutch is running or rotating that means the omega 2 definitely more than omega 1 that is engagement speed and omega 1 we can say this omega 1 is 75 percent than omega 2 this is a general consideration Re engagement speed is 75 percent of the running speed and running speed is more now it is rotating with omega 2 angular velocity omega 2 which is more than omega 1 now in this case the centrifugal force will change let us say the centrifugal force is efc dash 
in another second case now centrifugal force will change which will be mass is same now it is rotating at same radius my dear students rg dash it is rotating at same radius that is rg dash radius will not change right and but running speed is changing omega 2 square right this is fc dash now as it is rotating at same radius that means spring deformation x is same therefore spring deformation is same therefore spring force will be same as like previous spring force we have calculated as efc which is in the but m rg dash omega 1 square this is spring force now can i say as fc dash is equal to m rg dash omega 2 square because rotating at different speed omega 2 running this is a running speed but spring force spring force which is nothing but m rg dash into omega 1 square because at omega 1 angular speed only there is a engagement and once there is an engagement there is no further deformation and if there is no further deformation the spring force will remain constant now can I say FC dash is definitely more than spring force therefore there will be net unbalanced force in outside direction there will be net unbalanced force in outside direction therefore F net can I say F net is equal to FC dash minus F of spring this is a nothing but net force acting on here between contacting surface is equal to M RG dash into omega 2 square minus M RG dash omega 1 square which is nothing but m rg dash omega 2 square minus omega 1 square this is a net unbalanced force acting at the contacting surface now if i draw free body diagram of shoe and drum if i draw free body diagram of shoe and drum right let us say it is a drum for a drum we will draw free body diagram see on a drum there is net unbalanced force in outside direction which is nothing but F net M RG dash omega 2 square minus omega 1 square. Therefore, on a shoe, on a shoe, this net force will be in downward direction. F net will be in downward direction. Now see, this is shoe. This is shoe is rotating in clockwise direction. Clockwise rotation means point on this shoe will be going towards right. This will be the motion of this point. Contacted surface. Here there is a contacted surface or not. And at contacted surface, there is normal reaction and there is a friction force. There is normal reaction F net and as this point is moving towards right, the friction force will be towards left. Therefore, there will be a friction force which is nothing but this friction force is nothing but mu times normal reaction that is F net. Right? And mu is coefficient of friction between this surface, this contacted surface, there is a coefficient of friction mu. Right? Now, as coefficient of friction is mu net. Uh, coefficient of friction friction force is acting in mu net mu into f net acting in left side on shoe therefore on a drum it will be acting in right side because it is an action reaction pair it is an action reaction pair therefore friction force is equal to mu f net right as per newton's third law for this action there will be equal and opposite reaction for this action there will be equal and opposite reaction right now this is a net force or friction force acting on the drum towards right now if i see torque calculation here the friction force mu f net is acting at radius r which is drum radius right and rg dash is correct effective radius of rotation right therefore here can i say torque is nothing but here if i want to write torque this torque is equal to mu f net into radius r where radius r is radius of drum which is more than rg dash definitely it is more than rg dash always right therefore this torque is equal to mu f net we have derived as m rg dash omega 2 square minus omega 1 square into radius r into radius r now can i say this is a torque transmitted by single shoe torque transmitted transmitted by single shoe single shoe but sim but similarly there are total en shoes there are total en shoes therefore each shoe will transmit transmit the torque or transfer the torque therefore total torque total torque 
ट्रांसमिटेड इज इक्वल टू एन टाइम्स टॉर्क ट्रांसमिटेड बाय सिंगल शू विच इज नथिंग बट एन इनटू म्यू एम आर जी डैश ओमेगा टू स्क्वेयर माइनस ओमेगा वन स्क्वेयर इनटू आर वेयर एन इज नंबर ऑफ शूज म्यू इज क्वेश्चन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन शू एंड क्लच ड्रम एम इज मास ऑफ ईच शू मास ऑफ वन शू आर जी डैश इज इफेक्टिव रेडियस ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ सी जी ऑफ शू फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ शाफ्ट ओमेगा टू इज ओमेगा टू इज रनिंग स्पीड ओमेगा वन इज एंगेजमेंट स्पीड एंड आर इज रेडियस ऑफ ड्रम थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी न्यूमरिकल्स ऑन क्लच डिजाइन